Welcome to Man That's Cooking. Today we're making Jack Daniels steak kebabs. We're starting out today with two boneless New York strip steaks. We're going to use kitchen scissors and cut each steak in half. Once we do that, we're going to cut bite-sized chunks about an inch or so in size. And you want to keep the fat on. Why? Flavor, man, flavor. That's where the flavor's at. Yeah, it might kill you, but whatever. Just do it. After you've cut the pieces, we're going to put these in a Ziploc bag. Now we're going to work on our next steak. And if you don't have a pair of kitchen scissors, just look at how easy this is. It's worth it. So this recipe calls for two shots of Jack Daniels. We're using the two-shot method. One shot for the cook. And one shot for the steak. You may have noticed the football team logo on that shot glass. That team will make you drink. All right, so now we're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. This is delicious on steaks. And we're adding our Everglades seasoning into the mix. Now we're gonna seal up the bag and we're gonna move around all the pieces of meat try to get them all evenly coated. It's definitely a little bit more difficult when you have seasoning in there. You want to try to get the liquid to uh, wash around and make sure you get all the seasoning evenly distributed. And we're going to put this bag of steak into the refrigerator overnight or at least eight hours. Next we have a package of portobello mushrooms and what we're going to do first is wash the dirt off. Now if you like dirt I guess you can skip this step. Otherwise, make sure you get all the dirt off. Okay, next step, we're gonna cut these mushrooms in half. We're gonna chop off some of the lengthy stems here. And once these are all cut up, we're gonna put these in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so for our mushroom marinade, we're going to be using some soy sauce, and we're just eyeballing it here. No real measurements. We're beyond that measurement game, masters of our kitchen. And we're going to add some Everglades seasoning. And seal up the bag. You know the trick here. You know what to do. We're going to make sure we get everything nice and coated. And we're going to put these in the refrigerator overnight. Same timing as the steak. And now we have a half of a yellow onion. We're going to peel the skin off of this. And we're going to cut it into quarters. All right, so everything's been marinating overnight and we're ready to put our kebabs together. I don't think you noticed that a whole day went by, but that's okay. And this part's a bit labor intensive. It's 
gonna take you a few minutes to get this done. But just push through it, get it done, it's worth it. Believe me, this is good stuff. Time to make a uh, brush on seasoning. We're going to use some olive oil, some Everglades seasoning. And we're going to add some herbs de Provence to that mix. Now we're going to take our barbecue brush, mix this all together. And then spread this on to the tomatoes and onions. So not only is that going to add some flavor, but it'll help keep these things from sticking to your grill. And we've got our grill on a medium low setting. And we're gonna put these on the grill and let them cook for about, oh, maybe five to seven minutes per side. And here's one flip. And what you wanna do is you wanna rock these uh, back and forth a little bit to try and unstick the uh, onions. They might get a little stuck. And you don't want to tear them off, so be a little gentle when you pick these up. And here's another flip. Oh man, these are starting to look good. And these are done. Sorry about the low light there. We'll work on that. I'm gonna take these in and oh yeah, that looks good. So check out our website, manthatscooking.com. Like, subscribe, give us some comments and feedback. Thanks for watching. Hope you check out our other recipes. Enjoy.